Hello, guys. It's me, Michaela. What's up? This feels so weird. I haven't made like an actual video, like video, video, in so long. So long. So, the last video I posted, I'm pretty sure it's the last video I posted. It was about, well, it wasn't really about, it was just the act of me doing this to my hair. I shaved it off. <laughs> um, ever since I got it shaved off, everyone was like, why did you shave it? You had such long, beautiful hair. What's your problem? Are you going through something? Blah, blah. I guess in a way I am going through something. I'll get into that later. But I just wanted to make this video talking about why I shaved my head and how I feel about it and how long I've wanted to been shaved, how long I have wanted to shave my head. And um Yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so Ever since I was, I honestly can't tell you exactly how old I was or what year it was because it was such a long time ago that I really don't remember, but a very long time ago, my aunt, her ex-fiance, my aunt's ex-fiance's sister went to Africa for school and because she was... I don't really know what she was doing. I think she was, like, she went for school, and I think she was also, like, um, helping, you know, like, have people, like, go over, kind of, like, mission, but it was for school. So she went to Africa, and because she, the specific part of in Africa that she went to was not very sanitary, she had to shave her head to avoid, like, catching any diseases or anything. So she actually, like, shaved it, like, to the scalp, like, shaved it all off. And I was like, that is crazy. So she finally came back and she had a little bit of hair. And she would wear like a, um, sometimes she would wear like a hat or a scarf. But normally she was just like, what up? I don't have any hair. Let me live my life. So I was like, that is really cool. Like, she looks great. She looks confident. I want to shave my head. So I feel like I was either like, seven eight nine or like ten eleven twelve I can't really like between that time is whenever that happened so that was dope so I was like I want to shave my head someday not right now are you kidding me I'm a developing child I depend so much on how I look that I can't do that now so yeah ever since ever since I saw her I was like I want to shave my head I don't know when I don't know where I don't know why I don't know how but I just want to do it and so time went by and it wasn't really like a thing that I thought about a lot until I feel like last year maybe or the year before that, junior or senior year. I'm graduated BT dubs. Um, but I re like senior year it was like hard. Like I'm just like waiting for an excuse to shave my head. I wanna shave my head, I wanna shave my head, I wanna shave my head. And my two best friends, Naya and Christina, what up girl? Actually today Naya just left to go to Boca for college very sad day we saw her yesterday she left early this morning so hey boo love you um but Naya and Christina they were just like do it like do it like you would look so good with the shaved head just do it and I was like I'm gonna do it I just don't know when I'm waiting for an excuse blah 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 so I really wanted to do it but I got a job and I was like, I don't want to get in trouble with my job because I shaved my head. Like, I don't want to get fired. And everyone's like, why would you get fired? It's your hair. It's a natural hairstyle. So, then I was talking to my mom about it. I was talking to my brother. I was literally, everyone I was telling, I was just like throwing the idea up in the air. I was just like, I want to shave my head. And they were, most people were like, excuse me, what did you just say? But... Some people that I really valued their opinions, like my mom, my two best friends, my dad, my brother, like those people were like, okay, they were really like, okay, that's cool, do it, like whatever. Or they were like, yeah, totally do it, like you would look so good, just like do it. So 
I talked to one of my managers and she was like, yeah, why don't you just do it? Like, if you want to shave your head, it's a natural hairstyle. What if you, it's really bad, but like, what if you had like some sort of terminal disease where you have to shave your head? Well, we, why would someone fire you because of something you couldn't control? And I was like, that's true. So literally three days after I talked to my manager, uh, my mom scheduled an appointment with Fantastic Sands. There's a hairstylist her named Cody. Love you, girl. She's been in my hair since I was literally like in the sixth grade. Like it has been a long time. She scheduled an appointment with Cody. I went in. I was literally the first person in the hair salon. And I was like, I want to shave my head. And she was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. So that's when I made that video. Um, earlier, I said that, you know, I was like, why? a lot of people want to know why. That was the main reason why. And then people were like, are you going through something? Like, blah, 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 blah. So, I am going through something. Not really, but, like, that's not, like, the reason I'm, my, my, my situation isn't why I shaved my head. But it's sort of, like, I feel like I needed a change because of that situation. So, this was a change that I've wanted for a long time. So, I was like, might as well just do it now. Sorry. If I keep like going from you to like going like somewhere out in outer space, it's because I'm filming this on my phone with a back camera and it's propped up against my laptop, which is open. So it's like a mirror and I'm just like looking at myself. Anyway, recently, as you could probably tell from, I think maybe three videos ago, I have been like having these feelings like of anxiety like extreme not extreme but like anxiety to the point where like I break down crying like I can't breathe I just I feel like my world is crashing down around me I'm literally about to tear up just thinking about it because it scares me so much but I yeah that's been happening so I, I just really needed something to make me feel strong and confident and happy with myself and I feel like I've wanted this for a long time like I loved my long hair Sometimes I miss it. I'm usually like, oh, I, w I wish I had long hair so I could do that hairstyle. But I like this a lot more. Um, airplane. So I feel like that, the fact that I've wanted this for a long time and the fact that I needed something to make me feel strong because of what I was going through, I feel like those two things coming together kind of like really pushed me to shave my head. Because I've wanted it forever. But this just like pushed me to shave my head. Plus, I just graduated, graduated blah, blah. Plus, I just graduated high school, going into college. I just, a lot of big changes are happening and you know, why not shave my head during that time? I don't know. <laughs> It's been, I want to say, maybe two, three weeks, almost a month since I've got, since I shaved my head. And first day, fantastic, loved it. It was great. I literally walked in because I got it shaved in the morning and then that night I had to close at Aeropostale. Everyone, like, loved it they're, either they were like wow that's crazy why would you do that but you look good or they were just like wow you look so good but i mean who's gonna tell someone to their face that they don't look good with a haircut like so pff, yeah but um i loved it and then story time shout out to my girl christina love you gonna tell this story because it's relevant so i went to the movies with my best friend like two days after shaving my head because she works at a movie theater so <laughs> we got it well right what and um, one of her coworkers, he is very attractive. Just gotta throw that in there. He's an attractive male. Um, so we went at night, like right before closing, because you know she worked this, so she knew blah, blah blah. And we saw the movie. We came out of the movie, and then we started talking to him. And it was a good conversation. We were talking about movies. I love movies. We were talking about superheroes. I love superheroes. I'm not, like, an expert on superheroes, but I know more. I feel like I know more than, like, the average person. Um, especially about certain superheroes. Um, but, yeah, so we had a good conversation. It was cool. I was wearing my Supernatural shirt. It says, 
the Winchester family, Winchester Brothers, the family business, saving people, hunting things, you know what's up, supernatural. <laughs> anyway, and I had some earrings that had like angel wings. I was like, get it, Castiel, angels, supernatural, what? Yeah, I was wearing that with some boot cut jeans. Boot cut? Yeah, I think the boot cut jeans. And some sandals, and I had my purse. Um, I'm just, I don't know why I told you my entire outfit, but I just feel like I, I just did. I just, I just felt like it was uh, some information. So, remember, this was like a few days after I shaved my head, so I'm still a little bit like, oh, do you like it? Do you hate it? Blah, blah. So, like three days later, two, no, I actually, I think it was the next day. The next day we went, Christina and I went over to Naya's house. Mm, I can't remember exactly why we were there, what we were talking about, but she was like, oh yeah, and um, oh yeah, Michaela, Jared, he asked me if you were a lesbian. Side note, there is nothing wrong with liking the same gender. There is nothing wrong with loving who you love, being who you are, whatever. It just took me by surprise, and I was like, why would he think that? I mean, I didn't say it, like, out loud to her. Like, I'm really good at acting like nothing phases me, but inside I'm just like, what? Why did you do that? But, so he's like, yeah, she's like, oh, yeah, he has to be a lesbian. And I was like, what? I was like, ah, ha, ha, yeah, I figured that would be a question either. Do you have a terminal illness or are you a lesbian? Blah, blah, blah. So, that kind of, I, like, literally, after that, ha after she said that, I, I just, like, I was like, ha, ha, and then I was like, for the rest of the time and I was just thinking just the the cogs in my brain were just turning and grinding against each other so then a couple days later I told my mom she's like yeah you're gonna get that a lot and then I was like I was thinking about it and I was like was this a mistake and I was like no it's not a mistake and then I was like wait I was thinking about it and I was like should I have shaved my head blah 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 and then I realized I don't need people like that in my life I don't need people who think that the way I have my hair determines my sexuality or how I view the world. Like, my hair is my hair. Like, it'll grow back, hopefully. Um, it's my appearance. It has nothing to do with who I am on the inside. So, h how, why would I want someone who is so outer layer in my life like that? He's not necessarily in my life, but it just sort of got me thinking. So, I don't know where I was going this, <laughs> but I was just thinking about like, I don't need people like that in my life who think like my hair, my shaved head or my hair or lack thereof determines my sexuality. And I realized that not only has my hair or lack thereof given me more confidence or a lot more to think about like when I like go out in the world, like. I thought people were going to stare at me a lot, but honestly, I'm not that special. Just because I shaved my head doesn't mean people are going to look at me all the time. Because it's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. It's just hair. It's going to grow back. I chose to do my hair like this, and that's cool. And a lot of people aren't just like, whoa, she shaved her head. Whoa, she shaved her head. But it helped. It, it's kind of like, it's cool because this hairstyle is kind of like helping me weed out who I want to be friends with. Because before... Not saying there's anything bad about this, but I just look like a, a normal girl with long brown hair who's tall. Like, I was just normal. But now, I have another, like, layer added to me. Not saying that you're basic if you have, like, long brown hair. Like, you're dope. Like, I was that once. So, I just... This video is really long. I just wanted to make this video talking about why I shaved my head, how it's been so far... Um, I'm not really sure whether or not I'm going to keep it this short. I like it right now, but because of, like, past incidents or whatever you could say, I've kind of, like, been like, oh, I kind of want to grow my hair out. Because originally what I was going to do is I was going to shave my head and then I was just going to let it grow out. So I can go through all the hairstyles. Like, I can go through this, I can go through a pixie, I can go through a, a short bob, a long bob, and then I'll just be back to normal. It'll take years, duh, but I could go through it. But now I don't know whether I want to grow it out. Like, if it starts to get long, I might be like, just let it grow. But I feel like I'm probably going to keep it this short because I really like it. I really like it. Um, and I really like when it's, like, really flat against my head. I wear this to sleep. 
it was my, I think it was my, I think this was mine, like, a long time ago, but my mom started wearing, like, these little hats to sleep because she doesn't have a lot of hair and it's really cold in our house at night sometimes, so, it, and she said that if she goes to bed without a hat on, she gets a headache in the morning because her head is too cold, and I've been getting headaches, so she was like, that's probably why, because you literally went from hair almost to your butt to nothing. So I've been wearing this, and I have not been having headaches, but at the same time, when I get out of the shower, and even when I don't shower, like when I don't wash my hair, when I get out of the shower and it's wet and I just put this guy on, it sort of like flattens my hair how I like it. Like yesterday I didn't wear it, no, not yesterday, the day before, the night before last night, I didn't wear it to sleep and I woke up and my hair was like sticking up in places and I'm like, no, you need to be flat. But I totally forgot. Oh yeah, I like it short, so I might just keep it this length for a while. So uh, yeah, that's why I shaved my head, and that's how I feel about it, and that's kind of what's going on in my life right now. I'm going to try to make more videos. Originally, side note, again, if you're, if you're like done with me, like you can just exit out of this video because I'm just probably going to rant because I haven't talked to you guys in so long. By you guys, I mean a hundred of you or 99 of you that are subscribed to me if you guys even watch my videos. Anyway, I want to start making more videos because originally when I started YouTube, I was watching Shane Dawson, who I still love. Shout out to you, Shane. You dope. Um, I was watching Shane Dawson. I was watching Shay Carl. I was watching um, Philip DeFranco. Um... Lisa Bug, I still watch Philip DeFranco, I still watch Shane Dawson, I was watching a bunch of other people too, like, YouTube is my life, like, I'm not on, I'm not, like, as active on YouTube as an active, I mean, making videos, as I would like to be, but I'm, every single day, either when I wake up or before I go to bed, I'm watching YouTube, so, I want to be more active on it, I want to make more videos, I want to, like, connect with the YouTube community more, and I want to do it because I want to meet new people and I want to have, like, a fun outlet because sometimes I think, like, I just need a place to, like, let myself flow or whatever because my best friend draws, my mom writes, and I feel like I need a creative outlet because I think that's why my anxiety was, like, happened, like, it, like, escalated because I didn't have anywhere to, like, put anything. So I've been, like, writing, I've been drawing I'm not very good at it and I just feel like making videos is where I need to be because that is how I feel the most myself anyway originally when I started YouTube I wanted to do it because I wanted to be famous definitely don't want to be famous anymore I used to want to be an actress I used to want to be a dancer I used to want to be a singer I used to, want to be all these things but I didn't work for it and I think I didn't work for it because I didn't believe I could do it I love singing, but I'm not a good singer. I like dancing, but I got my back surgery, so I'm less flexible, and it's not really my passion anymore, but making film and videos and all that stuff, I like. Not necessarily being in, the, being in front of the camera. I do enjoy being in front of the camera, obviously, but I like to sort of, like, set up the framework. Like, when I watch movies, I'm like, I like how the director did this with this and that and this and the lighting here and the actor saying the line like this. Like, I like that. Like, that sort of the structure, the making of, I enjoy. So I think this is where my creative outlet is. So now, instead of wanting to be famous on YouTube, because whatever, like, I don't really care. If I, if I happen to get views, that's cool. But if I don't, that's also cool because I have been watching this girl, Megan Hughes. I love her so much. Her attitude, her, the way she thinks, her, just her, like, her whole, like, not physique, her whole, um, vibe I love. And I really needed it going through this period. And I just kind of want to be like her and she makes videos and I, I enjoy the videos that she makes and I want to make videos too because I have stories too. I have advice too so that's why I want to try to get back in. This video is probably like 10 minutes long. I'm so sorry but I like long videos so. <laughs> but um yeah so subscribe. That'd be really cool if you subscribed. You can be updated on my life whatever I do. I might start vlogging. I don't really have an interesting life. Oh, speaking of vlogging, I also love OK Baby and um, K Baby. 
I love them so much. They're having another baby. Kira is pregnant. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And I don't even know these people. I, I, I mean, I, like, I know them. I know what they put out there, but I don't know them and I'm so excited for them. They make me want to have a baby. Shh, mom, I'm kidding. Not right now, but eventually I want a baby. Anyway, I need to stop right now. Subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram. I have a photo. I also have a Snapchat. I also have... I have a Pinterest, and oh, oh, I have a, uh, I don't know my phone, oh, my phone is right there, huh, <laughs> you dummy. I have an account on Megan Hughes' app called Stay Smiling, so you can follow me on all those things. Links will be in the description if you really want to follow me anywhere. If not, go check out my other videos just to get a better idea of what I am, or what I am, of who I am, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.